Harambe Stars. Two minutes in, I already doing really well. I by half time, Harambe Stars shining. Fall in the end. Teddy? Uh, it was a good uh, performance. I think uh, it's it's the the next step for for Kenya. I think uh, uh, Far uh, Engine Farage uh, did did uh, the perfect balance into the team. It showed that the it showed that there is more for for the Kenyan team. It showed uh, that we can do something with the ball. It's not like what we always used to the Kenyan team sitting back and hitting on the counter. It showed that we can also play the ball. And looking at, um, let me borrow from what Matano was saying yesterday. Mm. He said that these kinds of players can can be able to play in whatever kind of game there is because they are they are huge, they are more physical, they can be able to withstand whatever team. This is who the new guys, the Anyembes, yeah, the yeah, 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 Jonas. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, be, given that they were mixed with experienced players, it shows that there is something in this Kenyan team. And kudos to Firat with how he he was able to set up this team because. As ma if after we scored the first and second goal, we were able to manage as much as we were kind of attacked by Malawi to some point in the in the dying uh, the first timbers, uh, the first half. Mm. But we were able to manage that, and after that, we were just able to manage the game smoothly till the end. Yes, it's a good performance. We can we cannot uh, put shade on it, but uh, I'm not reading too much into it. Let's be given someone who is more, you know. Hey, you can't yeah. even be happy. Uh, uh, yes, it's a no, good performance. You have to give credit to the Harambe stars. But let, but let, you, let, see, let them be consistent in Teddy, this, you know? Yeah? Teddy, every yeah. time someone says but, uh -huh. that but negates everything yeah. beyond that. Even someone says, oh, you know, Teddy, you're a very good guy. I think you work very hard. I but. think you're a hardworking chap. I think you play football well as a wing back. But uh, uh. once that but comes, everything the person said before sort of goes away. At least that's the way I understand it. I, I don't. My, my point is they just they should just try and replicate replicate this for, for, for a longer period. That's when I'll be able to, yeah, you know. I'm trying to. I was trying to look where Malawi are in the rankings. They are 122nd mm. as of February 2024. Mm. So I was just checking to see where they are. Kenya is what one something. We also are around one. Yeah. So I was just trying to see uh, to see where they. Anyway, Chep, let's go. Let me see whether you also have a bat. <laughs> no, no. I, I I agree. I agree with uh, with Teddy. Mm. Uh, I think it was a good game. Good game. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we played the ball. Yeah. Yeah. I think for me. Uh, it, it reminded me probably of the Qatar game mm. as yeah. well. Kucheza mpira. Mpira iko chini. It's not mm. the, you know... Ile hoofing the ball hoofing forward. the ball forward and, and what have you. We played really well. Again, mixed of experience and as well as uh, yeah, young players. I thought uh, the fourth goal, I th uh, Avira's goal, mm. I thought it was a fantastic goal. It was really, really, really good goal. Yes. Really, really good goal. And he's, he's, he's been absent in the, in the team for, I think, five years. So mm. it was a statement coming back. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm, sh I'm going to show you what to do. So I really, really enjoyed the game. Again, as Teddy has said, I'm also not reading so much, so much in it. It's a positive. For me, as long as there's progress, there's a positive, I'll take it. I'll take it. 4-0, um, the last time Kenya won a, a big game 4-0 is a long time ago. I was actually going through the stats just mm. to see. And I know guys will remind me, oh, we beat Seychelles. No, Seychelles doesn't count. Okay. Oh, yeah, <laughs> With all due five. respect <laughs> to Seychelles, Seychelles, Mauritius, yeah. and they don't count. Yeah. I, I would add, want us not to count them. But I was looking for a big the last time Kenya scored that many goals in a game. And yeah. I was scrolling down to look. See, uh, I was little, I've, I've gone down, I've gone down, I've gone down, I've gotten all the way to... Uh, this was a Sekafa game versus Eritrea. Ken uh, Kenya lost four and or oh, even that one they lost. So you go down, you go down, you go down, you go down. You scroll down, you scroll down, you scroll down the years. You are now in 2019 and we're going and we're going. You find Kenya beat Chinese Taipei. Again, that will not count a friendly international yeah. Chinese Taipei. Let's assume it doesn't count. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking for a, a team, like like a team. And I think it has to be... Did Kenya beat Ethiopia 3-0? Yeah, AFCON qualifiers yeah. for 2019. Yeah. Yeah. That might be the last big win. Of course, if you are to count any game, you'd say they beat beaten Seychelles 5, yeah. mm -hmm. they beat beaten Chinese Taipei 4, then of course we beat Ethiopia 3 so for me, it was such a huge win. And then away from home, in Lilongwe, in Malawi, yeah. away from home, I, I, I give marks for that. Of course, like you guys are saying, Malawi is not exactly La Côte d'Ivoire. Malawi is not Senegal. Yeah. So Malawi is ranked 122nd. We are 111. I was just checking now. As per February 15th, we were 111th. So they are basically... Uh, all all size size, exactly. Yeah. 
yes. size yetu yes. but i'm like for me it's just that it's a win mm. we lost to south sudan man yes in nairobi at home yeah mm, he plays so, train in kenya <laughs> yeah so it's a win yeah. for me it's a win can you build on it especially given that the build up was a bit fuzzy yeah. uh abud and johanna coming to blows not some kind, some kind of thing you need can we build on it yeah. i'm so happy to see uh, ayunga jonah so happy to see anyembe back yeah. because yeah. anyembe yes. looks like he looks the part yeah. yes. like it's a big guy he, he makes runs forward looks good good to see the two young kids given their debut mahiga and uh and and, and the other boy uh his name slides gets off my head rambo Ram- yeah that boy good to see them mm-hmm. both of them uh, it's good to see i and to see i i want to see more talent being introduced into the team i think it's a good thing because we are building here's yeah. the thing i i don't think our biggest goal is to qualify for uh, for world cup 2026 i'm not sure we can qualify for world cup 2026 but i think we are building a team towards afcon 2027 if i yes. was to be asked that's yeah. what i'd be working yeah. towards yeah. and it's good to see the engineer come in and score two goals yeah, mm. yeah? Mm. because he he's, he comes under a lot of pressure of course i'd have wanted this kind of resort versus gabon Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then Gabon, yeah. it was away from home, and even though we were leading, you, Kinda you know. Tough. So I, I choose to look at it as a positive thing. Yeah. I honestly choose to look at it. Yesterday, positive. We won yeah. four nil. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Yeah. Tomorrow yeah, we when we play Zim, Zimbabwe. Uh, let's see if we can beat them and see if we can. Because you've got to. It's the building blocks. It's the, exactly, it's the building. So I'm, 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 I'm I have chosen to be hundred percent positive. Yeah, like I'm like, look, it's fine. We get so few good results. Let me first of all just celebrate whatever good result we get. Mm-hmm. Then we build on it. Who knows what we are going to do next? Of course, there's a lot more work to be done. Mm-hmm. We need a lot more. But situanzi mm-hmm. apo. Yes. We and, have to start and how about Matasi? What's your opinion on it? Matasi gives you exactly what Matasi gives you. Mm. Short stopper, the best in this country. Just mm-hmm. short stopping, the best. Short stopping. When you put in crosses, when you put in those things, now it becomes a bit dicey. Ah. And he's always been like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's always been like that. If you put crosses into the box, he gets a bit dicey. Yeah. But short stopping straight at him, he finds a way to block them. Yeah. Um, saved a penalty last night. Yeah, yeah, he did. Saved Sadio Mane's penalty at the AFCON in 2019. Mm. So he does it. He when If there's a penalty against you, I would almost back Matasi. Matasi gives you exactly what he is. That is what he is. Really good in short stop. Of course, the experience tells. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. he's a very, very confident lad he's because up. I know him one on one. He's yeah. he's a really confident boy. Like he's like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be the best keeper in the Kenya Premier League. He told me that the year they won the league with Tasca, and that's exactly mm-hmm. what he did. Solid guy. I like him. It's just, but that's who he is. What I feel though is that we haven't been able to produce a young goalkeeper in Kenya. We've always yeah. always had a young keeper who's knocking on the door. Yeah. I'm not sure which young keeper is knocking at the door now. Is it Brian? No. Is it because Ian is no longer young? Eh? Mm-hmm. Ian has been around for a decade plus, so he's no longer young. When he was younger, we thought he's going to be the next big thing. Yeah. Who is that keeper? Who the way we knew Arnold was coming, the way we knew uh, Duncan Ocheng was coming. Like you, this is the next big guy. This yeah. is the next keeper to take over the jersey. I, I'm not sure which one it who who it is. I haven't seen a guy who convinces me completely. Like. I am the guy. Take, you know? Yes, but Matasi has and I understand why most coaches like Matasi. He's your right size of a goalkeeper. He's a big guy. Mm. He's he a big up. guy. He he's commanding. He's big. Yeah. Mm. You need a keeper who's physically there. And and Kenya at times we have had eh, small keepers, you are given kind of keepers, you know. Like if you wow. think of course Arnold is not the biggest. No, he's not. Onyiso wasn't the biggest. If even if you look at even the guys who are around you are Levis Opios they're not they're not if you guys saw John JB Busolo play sorry that's like history lessons but if you saw Busolo play okay Mahamud Abbas David Ochenka Moga like Charles Omondi Korea um Ken Kenyatta the yeah, coach yeah. for now coaches the team in the Premier League um or, or used to coach used to coach uh, KRA Ushuru The size would tell you. If you see Omondi Korea, yeah. you know why he was a keeper. Mm. If you see Ken Kenyatta, like they were commanding, yeah. they were big guys. Yeah. So does this boil down to what you're saying during the Afghan period mm. that Kenyans, uh, Kenyan players, have kind of shrunk in terms of size? Yes, our sizes have reduced significantly. If you go back and look at the team that beat Algeria 3-1 in Kasarani, one yeah. of our biggest wins mm-hmm. in 1996. It was a World Cup qualifier, mm-hmm. Kenya versus Algeria. We beat them 3-1. Yeah. Mm. If you look at the size of the guys who played in that game yeah. and you compare it to today, ah, uh, it's night and day. 
You know, them. Musa, Polo Cheng, Alan Odiambo, Tom Odiambo, Michael Koth, uh -huh. Vincent Kwarula, they were giants. Like, they they were big guys. If you just, if you just, I keep saying this, if you've met Peter Dow, then you know what a big footballer is in this country. Like, Dow is a physically imposing guy. Now, Kenyan ballers were like they were yeah. big. big you are yeah. Even yeah. when the guy wasn't so tall, uh -huh. just football. yes. Yeah. If you if you ever saw Nike Hama play football, the current coach. If you ever saw George Sunguti play, mm. if you ever saw the guys who are fullbacks, then now probably would be centre backs. Francis Oduor going down left, uh, left, left, left fullback. Tobias Juakali. Like guys who are imposing. Yeah. They were big guys. I feel like our players have reduced in size. I don't know whether it's our diet. I don't know whether it's our eating habits. I don't know what it is. Diet. Yeah, Maybe it I think could be it, diet. It, it could it's be diet. diet it's majorly. a huge thing. Majorly diet. Could be diet. Yeah. It is. Could be diet. Because majorly. we used Not to. It could be. Mm. It is. <laughs> because even now, if you look, if you look at our, even if, if you look at our players, if you look at who, who's now, that's why everyone was excited with Jonah. Yeah. Yeah, that is what the guys are like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what huge. I wanted to mention. <laughs> <'cause>, you know, <laughs> you see a nyembe and you're yeah. like, oh yes, mm. there's a footballer oh, in there. No, they should share, share with the others. What they are doing to you know to be that big if because if diet, tell them mm. this is what you this is what we eat this is what you eat or it's if it's work it's gym work whatever it is this is how you do to to be that to bulk up because if someone like Marcelo was just my size not mm. Teddy's just my size mm. Marcelo Europe no he's in Europe already mm. you maybe you're talking fast 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 world top food tier. fast yeah top tier Europe. Yeah. Yeah, because mm. he's got the skill. I I just feel like our players have just sort of become smaller. I'm, I'm I really go back. And uh, yeah, you could be right. It could be diet. It could be lifestyle as well. Mm -hmm. Because even when I used to cover Kenyan football from up country, used to be fitter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And used to be bigger. Yeah. Mm. When when you had your Muhoroni and your Chemilil and your Western Steamer and your Sony Sugar, yeah, they were always fitter. They were always more physical. They're almost always bigger mm. yeah. than, than when you look at KCB, City Stars, Madare, yeah. Sharks. They're much more smaller. Yeah, yeah much smaller. but play a, play a lot more with the ball. Yeah. So I don't know what to be done there, but I feel like there's something that should be done there. I don't know. But look, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. You beat someone for. You I'm okay. Ah, no, I take it. With Kenyan football, I, I have, I want, I, I have, I'm choosing positivity. You know, those are like, we're 22. Yeah, it's mm. okay. Let's see what will happen tomorrow. Today. Is it today actually? It's, I keep yeah. saying tomorrow. Today, yeah. No, it's Sunday. no, no, no. Yeah? When is today? Today is today's Sunday. Today's Sunday. Yes. Yes. The game is when? Today. Uh, no, it can't be today because they played yesterday. Uh, I will yeah, tell you. Probably it's tomorrow. No, 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 no. Hold on. I, uh, there might, it must be there. I will tell you just now. Uh, in our fixtures, uh, now that we have. We should be hold up. There we go. No, ah, this was like giving us fixtures of Kenya versus Burundi in June. Watch out. I'll tell you that for nation. Turn up. Uh, the game is around the corner. I just can't remember what day. And I did the story, which is very sad. But yes, that for me is the thing. I feel like we are okay. We let go. Eh, don't worry too much. Yeah, no, it's fine. I know we beat our 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 age group. Yeah. Age group. But first things age group yeah, yeah at least yeah dominate your age group then now you climb up. step up and how about the the under 21 under 20 not under 21 under 20. no nice nice decent i like it i like i like the win i i, yeah, I like the win i i don't put a lot of emphasis in wins and losses with underage football ah, okay. what i worry about is the development ah, okay. so are we developing that's that's what i worry about most we worry about results with the big guys okay yeah, yeah because how many african teams have won world under 17 world cup under 20 and then so senior well, yeah. Yeah. so it's just for me it's the development are you able to put a team together are you able to travel are we seeing something in there? Mm -hmm. uh, I was reading today something about uh, even the boys who've gone to the Talanta under 19 who've yeah, got yeah. to Spain. Yeah. You Let's just keep building. At the, you know, because we don't really have a proper structure of football exactly, in this country. Exactly. You build from wherever. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll probably not find a way of integrating. No, once you build and the talent the comes up. Yes. Then, then yeah, let, let's, let's yeah, just try and build. But it, it's a decent win. But I don't read too much into under into underage football, into age group football. I don't read too much into yeah. it. Um, so long as there's development. For example, I'm keeping a keen eye on Amos Manjala. Yeah. I told all of you guys, yes, Amos, yes, Alan, yes, and uh, Aldrin Kibet. I told something. you, I think he's got the most potential. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I think he's got the highest ceiling. I read interesting reports about them. Um, guys saying what they're doing, who's playing where. I, was, I like, like him. I have a keen eye on him because I have a feeling he will make it. Mm -hmm. He just has.